Guten Tag, liebe Damen und Herren, liebe Freundinnen und Freunde, würden wir in mancher Hinsicht sagen, meiner Partei. Ich möchte Sie herzlich begrüßen zur Verleihung des diesjährigen erstmaligen Journalistenpreises der Südosteuropa-Gesellschaft für Journalistinnen und Journalisten aus unserer Region. Ich werde jetzt in Englisch fortsetzen, weil wir glücklicherweise hier gemeinsam in Berlin versammelt sind mit unseren Preisträgerinnen und Preisträgern aus der Region. Und ja, das ist, glaube ich, für uns alle etwas ganz Besonderes. Endlich zumindest wieder hybrid als Südosteuropa-Gesellschaft tagen zu können. First, I want to welcome, of course, uh, our guests who will be awarded, but of course as well, Peter Bayer, Josip Juratovic and Gudrun Steinacker as Vice Presidents of the South East Europe Association. And of course, Una Haidari and Dragan Bojats, who will receive the laureates today, and we are really lucky to have you here. Um, it's a special moment for us. And of course, the team of the South East Europe Association, which is like always making a perfect job and now hoping for this event being well. We had a lot of private financial donors who were making this prize possible, and I want to thank you. And I'm sure that after one and a half hours of this event, you will know that your investment is an investment in good things and especially in good heads. What is this new award for? Well, actually, um, the idea was born in a talk which uh, I had with my colleagues from uh, German Parliament, with Josip, Josip Rotovic and Peter Bayer. Uh, in 2018, I was meeting for the first time Stefi Zagalic from Mosta and Bosnia and Herzegovina. And I was not only impressed by her work and also what she already did for her country and for Europe in her life, but I was impressed how she gave the feedback to us, how important it is for journalists in the region to receive awareness and also sometimes gratitude from Europe and especially from Germany. And in the talks with our colleagues, we came to the idea, why is the South East Europe Association only granting awards for communicating to Germany for uh, German language journalists? Why is the South East Europe Association not only um, engaging uh, with a signal to the society that we want to take also more uh, responsibility for journalists from the region who are uh, reporting about the region. So I'm really happy that Peter Bayer, Josip Jurasovic, Michael Link from uh, the Liberal Party, Gudrun Steinecker and me made it possible to convince the whole Presidium of the South East Europe Association for setting up a new award, this new Solidarity Award of the South East Europe Association. And as the coronavirus situation, the pandemics, made it impossible for us to already grant this award last year, we are now lucky to have this ceremony taking place today here in Berlin, in the rooms of the German parliament, in the heart of the German democracy, and to have our guests in this hybrid session at a place. We all know that the situation of journalists in the region became more difficult within the last years. There's more press, more suppression, there's also more fear and more danger for people who are free and investigative uh, reporting about the region. And this situation is getting more public to us now, so probably what we see is only the edge of an ice, uh, ice hill. And we want to set an example that you're not alone. Journalism in the region is the keystone for freedom, for democracy, for pluralism, and also for European enlargement. And we need to foster it with all what we can do. Under the conditions of highly polarized and highly politicized media, our guests and colleagues of them are working in the region. Critical voices are often exposed to hate speech, to pressure, sometimes not only from private uh, engagement, also from public spheres. So, we want to honor courageous journalism from our partner countries in the region, people who are often putting themselves in danger for the sake of free and report, uh, critical reports, for outstanding work, and we want to contribute that people are recognized as important pillars of democracy, rule of law, and more freedom of the press. So, the award is having the sense of being a symbol to contribute to 
symbol of journalism, but also perhaps to contribute in a symbolic way to protect people who are doing this work in the region by being awareness from us. I'm really honored that uh, this is not only a matter for the Southeast Europe Association and for the, let's say, also party representatives and all the other people in the presidium of the Southeast Europe Association, but I'm really honored that we have a welcome address for our today's ceremony from our president, the federal president, Frank-Walter Steinmeier. And I think that it's a signal that he is supporting this ceremony with his letter that also we commonly share this interest in this prize and in the work of journalists in the region. So, I want to read the words of our president, Frank-Walter Steinmeier, in German, and it will be translated just afterwards. Frank-Walter Steinmeier is writing. In vielen Regionen dieser Welt, auch bei uns in Europa, geraten Journalistinnen und Journalisten zunehmend unter Druck. In Zeiten der Desinformation und populistischen Stimmungsmache stehen unabhängige Journalistinnen und Journalisten für die Pressefreiheit und einen faktenbasierten Diskurs im öffentlichen Raum ein. Dabei sind sie oft großen persönlichen Risiken ausgesetzt. Der Solidaritätspreis für Medienschaffende der Südosteuropa-Gesellschaft ist ein wichtiges Signal der Unterstützung einer freien und unabhängigen Medienlandschaft in der Region und der Wertschätzung der Journalistinnen und Journalisten, die sich dafür engagieren. Ich gratuliere allen Preisträgerinnen und Preisträgern und wünsche Ihnen für Ihre mutige und wichtige Arbeit von Herzen alles Gute. Frank-Walter Steinmeier. In many regions of the world, including Europe, Journalists are coming under more and more pressure. In times of disinformation and populist sentiments, independent journalists are standing up for the freedom of the press and for fact-based discourses in the public sphere. In doing so, they are often exposed to great personal risks. The Solidarity Award for media professionals from the Southeast Europe Society is an important signal of support for free and independent media landscape and in the region and a form of appreciation for journalists who are committed to their work. I congratulate all the award winners and sincerely wish all of you the very best and courage for your important work. Frank Walter Steinmeier. Vielen Dank, Frank Walter Steinmeier. Thank you, Mr. President. And I hand over the word for the first uh, nominee to be um, awarded, Dragan Bozac, will be um, now presented by my colleague Josip Juratovic. Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, als ich gefragt wurde, ob ich die Laudatio für Dragan Bursat sprechen würde, musste ich keine Sekunde zögern. Ladies and gentlemen, when I was asked to give the laudation for Dragan Bursak, I did not have to hesitate for a single second. Als jemand, der sich selbst seit den 90er Jahren für Frieden und Versöhnung auf dem Westbalkan einsetzt, ist mir diese Aufgabe eine große Ehre. Being someone who has been working for peace and reconciliation in the Western Balkans since the 1990s, this task is a great honor to me. Dragan Bursac lebt und arbeitet in Banja Luka. Dragan Bursac lives and works in Banja Luka. Er ist ein bosnisch-herzegowinischer Schriftsteller und Kolumnist. He is a Bosnian-Herzegowinian writer and columnist. Geboren wurde er 1975 in Bihać. He was born in 1975 in Bihać. Seine Schulzeit beendete er in Bosanski Petrovac, wo er auch aufgewachsen ist. And he did a schooling in Bosnanski Petrovac, where he also grew up. Nach seinem Studium wurde Dragan Bursac Professor der Philosophie. After his studies, Dragan Bursac became a professor of philosophy. Im Jahr 2000 begann er mit seiner journalistischen Arbeit bei, beim Radio Banja Luka. In 2000, he started his journalistic work at the radio station Banja Luka. Dem Radio kehrte er 2007 den Rücken. Stattdessen arbeitete er bis 2016 als Kolumnist auf dem gesellschaftlich kritischen Portal Buka in Bosnien und Herzegowina. 
He turned his back on the radio in 2007, and then he went on to work as a columnist at the social critical portal Buka in Bosnia and Herzegovina, where he stayed until 2016. Seit 2016 schreibt und arbeitet er als Kolumnist für den Fernsehsender Al Jazeera Balkans sowie für Radio Sarajevo und für die montenegrinische Antenna M. Since 2016, he's been writing and working as a columnist for the Al Jazeera Balkans television channel, as well as for Radio Sarajevo and for Montenegrin Antenna M, both radio stations. Seine Arbeit wurde schon vielfach prämiert. Zu seinen Auszeichnungen zählen Sergian Alexic, der UNICEF Journalistenpreis und der Journalistenpreis der UNHCR. His work has won him many awards. Amongst these are the Sudan Alecic Award, the UNICEF Journalist Award and the UNHCR Journalist Award. Einen der angemessensten Preise in Europa, den European Press Prize, gewann er 2018 in der Kategorie Meinungen. And in 2018, he won one of the most prestigious awards in Europe, the European Press Prize in the Category Opinions. Außerdem wurde er 2017 in Bosnien-Herzegowina als Journalist des Jahres ausgezeichnet. Also, he was awarded Journalist of the Year in Bosnien-Herzegowina in 2017. Seine Artikel haben häufig das Thema der Kriegsverbrechen in Fokus. Many of his articles focus on war crimes. Dabei geht es ihm vor allem um die Aufklärung der jüngeren Vergangenheit und die Frage danach, wie es um den Humanismus in Kriegszeiten auf dem Westbalkan bestellt ist. And here he is particularly concerned in clarifying the recent past and questioning how humanism is faring in the war times of the Western Balkans. Die Kolumnen von Dragan, Dragan Bursac rauben einem den Atem. Dragan Bursac's columns are breathtaking. Durch seinen scharfen und schonungslosen Schreibstil trifft er stets faktenbasiert den Nerv des Lesers. With his frank and honest style of writing, he hits the nerve of the reader and he always writes fact-based. Seine Texte wirken oft wie eine bittere Pille, zusammengesetzt aus der Substanz der Wahrheit. Often, his texts seem like a bitter pill made of the fabric of truth. Diese Wahrheit müssen wir jedoch schlucken, wenn wir auf dem Westbalkan eine Zukunft des Miteinanders schaffen wollen, die Brüderlichkeit und Solidarität in den Mittelpunkt stellen wollen. But this pill of truth is what we have to swallow if we want to create a common future in the Western Balkans focused on fraternity and solidarity. All jene, die eine ehrliche und tiefgreifende Publizistik zu, sch zu schätzen wissen, genießen seinen Sprachstil, der in einer besonderen Art und Weise eine Welt der verloren, ver verlorenen Werte des Humanismus porträtiert. Everyone who appreciates honest and profound journalism enjoys his style of writing. It portrays in this very special way a world of the lost of values of humanism. Seine Kolumnen sind eine Enzyklopädie des intellektuellen und moralischen Widerstands gegen die Schöpfer des großen Unheils. His columns are an encyclopedia of intellectual and moral resistance to the creators of the great calamity. Für die nachwachsende Balkangeneration, die glaubt, dass der historische Wahnsinn nicht wiederkehren darf, ist sein Werk ein moralischer Wegweiser. His work is a moral guide for the upcoming Balkan generation who believes that this historical madness is never to return. Er zeigt, wie man in dunklen Zeiten sein Leben mit Vernunft und Anstand gestalten kann. He shows how to live one's life with reason and decency in dark times. Vernunft und Anstand, beide Werte werden nur dann mit Sinn gefüllt, wenn sie mit Glaubwürdigkeit einhergehen. Reason and decency, both of these values, are only filled with meaning if they are accompanied by credibility. 
Die Glaubwürdigkeit schafft man jedoch allein, indem man nicht nur den Nationalismus des Anderen kritisiert, sondern den Nationalismus in der eigenen Reihen anprangert. However, credibility can only be achieved by not only criticizing nationalism in others, but also by criticizing nationalism in one's own ranks. Und damit läuft man wiederum Gefahr, zum Nestbeschmutzer, zum Vaterlandsverräter stilisiert zu werden. And in doing so, one runs the risk of being stigmatized as a corrupter or as a traitor to one's own country. Und dennoch ist eine solche Selbstkritik unabkömmlich, um Glaubwürdigkeit auch jenseits der eigenen Grenzen zu schaffen. And yet, such self-criticism is indispensable in order to create credibility beyond one's own borders. Und nur durch sie kann es Versöhnung und Frieden geben. And only by this credibility there can be reconciliation and peace. Über das menschliche Leid und die begangenen Verbrechen auf dem Westbalkan schreiben viele. Many write about the human suffering and the crimes committed in the Western Balkans. Aber Bursac ist einmalig in seinem Schaffen als jemand, der die Motive und Ziele in den Kriegen der 90er Jahre nicht relativiert, sondern jeden Teilbereich der Politik, der zum Genozid, zum Massenverbrechen und zu ethnischen Verfolgungen beitrug, detailliert zitiert. But Bursak is unique in his work as someone who does not relativize the motives and the goal of the wars of the 1990s, but dissects the political aspects in every detail that contributed to genocide, mass crimes and ethnic persecutions. Er entzaubert so das mythomane Kriegsnarrativ des modernen Politikbetriebes auf dem Westbalkan. And with this he demystifies the mythomanic war narrative of the modern political establishment on the Western Balkans. Seine Texte wühlen auf und doch muss man sie alleine schon um seiner eigenen Befreiung viele lesen. His texts are disturbing, but one has to read them if only for the sake of one's own liberation. Bei der Lektüre lernen wir Menschen kennen, deren Ethik und deren Mut uns dazu verpflichtet, die Politik des Bösen niemals wortlos hinzunehmen oder den Zustand der Gesellschaft vor Ort klaglos als historisch gewachsene Realität zu akzeptieren. Reading his texts, we get to know people who, whose ethics and courage oblige us never to accept the politics of evil without a word of questioning or to accept the state of society as something that has historically grown the way it is without a complaint. Wenn wir wollen, der Journalismus das Gewissen und das kritische Korrektiv der Gesellschaft ist, braucht es Journalisten wie Dragan Bursac, die in Sphären schreiben, wo andere meist schweigen. If we want journalism to be the conscience and the critical corrector of society, we need journalists like Dragan Burkshas, who writes in fears where most others remain silent. Dragan Bursac war selbst und ist nach wie vor von massiven Gewaltdrohungen betroffen. Dragan Burschas himself was and still is subject to massive threats of violence. Im Jahr 2017 war er aufgrund verschiedener Todesandrohungen gezwungen, Banja Luka zu verlassen. In 2017, he was forced to leave Banja Luka due to various death threats. Fort war er nicht mehr sicher. He was no longer safe there. Von sieben Klagen, die er aufgrund der Todesdrohungen eingereicht hatte, wurde nur eine vor Gericht behandelt. From the seven complaints he had filed due to his death says, only one was dealt with in court. All others were dismissed. Alle anderen wurden abgewiesen. All others were dismissed. Seine ganz persönliche Art erkennt man in der Beschreibung seines persönlichen Zustandes. We can perceive his very natural way of being by describing his personal state of affairs. Zitat Das Schlimmste, was einem Menschen passieren kann, ist zwischen zwei Extremen entscheiden zu müssen. Man wird gleichgültig und, man, und das muss man, wenn man weiter arbeiten will oder man gibt sich dem Wahnsinn hin. 
quote, the worst thing that can happen to a person is to have to choose between two extremes. You become indifferent. And you have to become indifferent if you want to keep on working. Otherwise, you're doomed to madness. Weiterhin sagt er, wenn es ein Verrat sein soll, dass man sich auf die Seite der Wahrheit stellt und nicht auf die Seite der Nation, dann will ich ein Verräter sein. Further, he says, if it is betrayal to stand by truth and not by the side of the nation, then I want to be a traitor. Meine Damen und Herren, ich bin dankbar und stolz, dass die Südosteuropa Gesellschaft den Beschluss gefasst hat, den Solidaritätspreis an Drangen Bursac zu überreichen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm grateful and proud that the Southeast Europe Society has taken the decision to present the Solidarity Award to Dragan Burkac. Denn ich bin überzeugt davon, dass der Dragan Bursac diesen Preis verdient wie kein Zweiter. Because I am convinced that Dragan Bursac deserves this prize like no other. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Congratulations. <laughs> Vielen Dank, Josip Juratovic. Wir werden gleich auch eine Antwort von Dragan Bursac hören. We will receive an answer from Dragan Bursac later on, because first we want to now have the second laudation taking place for Una Haidari, then by my colleague Peter Bayer. English is better. Yeah, yeah, English is good. Welcome. Everybody, so thank you. No, Bosnian. This is not. This is not the main issue. <laughs> Dear Manuel, Mr. President, Vice Presidents, uh, Herr Brey, Herr Hagemann, but above all, Una Haidari and uh, Mr. Bursac, thank you very much for coming here to the German Bundestag. Um, I, on behalf of the Southeast Europe Association, I welcome you warm-heartedly to the heart to the heart of democracy of Germany, here to the German Bundestag. The state of freedom of the press is an indicator of the state of our democracy as a whole. These are not my words. This is a quotation from the German Chancellor Angela Merkel. She said that in a video podcast in May of last year, on the occasion of the 75th anniversary, of the uh, appearance of the first free newspaper in Germany under license from the West Allies after the Nazi dictatorship. In a world where the press and freedom of speech are not valued everywhere the same, Ms. Haidari stands up every day for values that are sacred to us in democratic societies. Her work, therefore, is simply invaluable. Ms. Hadari is a freelance journalist from Pristina, Republic of Kosovo, with an impressive range of publications. She writes for publications of different political attitudes. Ms. Hadari is not interested in ideologies and does not let herself be influenced by the mainstream or even the zeitgeist, but is in search of the truth. Through her work, she draws attention to the Western Balkans time and again in international reporting. This is of significant importance so that the region, which lies in the heart of Europe, does not fall within oblivion. Una Haidari's work is published in many German and international media, such as Die Welt, Taz, Ostpol, Israel newspaper Haaretz, the Telegraph from the UK, Balkan Inside, and Al Jazeera. Regularly, her work can be found in US media outlets such as the New York Times, the Boston Globe, Politico, The Atlantic, Foreign Policy, and many others. She was a longtime monitor for Reporters Without Frontiers. Ladies and gentlemen, she had also worked as a journalist for various tele television stations. And I hope now I, the pronunciation is okay. Um, it's N. Yedan, something like that. Swiss Radio and Television, SRF, to name also here just a few. As co-producer, she was part of a documentary about Bosnia-Herzegovina and Kosovo for 
Arte and contributed to the documentary Human Flow from the Chinese artist Ai Weiwei. In particular, I would like to highlight Ms. Haidari's work in the English-speaking world and work for U.S. media once again. For me, being the transatlantic coordinator of the federal German government, the alliance across the Atlantic is of special priority. It is a value and a chance, especially with regard to the Western Balkans. We are all talking currently of a new transatlantic, that is, US-EU approach towards a better future for the Western Balkan six countries. So I am very pleased that her work is leaving its mark on both sides of the Atlantic. Una Ahedari was a researcher at the Center for International Studies at the Massachusetts of Inter of, uh, Institute of Technology, the MIT, and her work has been supported by organizations like the International Women's Media Foundation and the Ground Truth Project and also many others. Now, while Ms. Haidari was based in different locations in the Balkans and later worked out of Warsaw and Kiev, she covered a wide range of topics, and i share with you some of them. Central, East and Southeast Europe, racism and nationalism, post-conflict societies, identity and socialism, minorities, social justice, and a wide range of many more. In Southeast Europe, ladies and gentlemen, there are daily attacks on freedom and speech, freedom of speech, and freedom of the press. Journalists are threatened both verbally and physically and are subject to public smear campaigns. Hate speech is the order of the day. Ms. Haidari is exposed to all of this. Sometimes she is portrayed as the Serb hater, sometimes as an enemy of the Albanian people. Despite of all this, she continues her work and does not let anyone cross her way. I can only imagine the high personal price she has to pay for that. Ladies and gentlemen, I was genuinely shocked when I saw the reactions to Ms. Hadari's vaccination picture online, on social media. I don't know where first it came up, on Twitter or Facebook, but it made its way through the social media. And the shitstorm that was triggered was immense. It was massive. A journalist from Kosovo Una Haidari, was, who is reporting critically all the time about the Serbian government, is being vaccinated in the capital of Serbia, in Belgrade. Think about that. Even the Serbian tabloids were reporting, were covering this uh, uh, story uh, broadly. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we now have heard a lot about the quality and the work of Una Haidari and the extraordinary cur courage it takes her to do her work. She is capable, and please tell me that this is fake news, what I'm telling. She's capable of speaking seven languages? Four fluently. I didn't Four fluently, so plus three, more or less fluently. <laughs> seven <laughs> languages. She's reporting in Albanian and in Serbian, which is quite unique to a journalist uh, that comes from Kosovo. But Una Haidari does not stop here. Her mission is not accomplished yet. Will it ever be? I was extremely happy to hear uh, when I learned that Ms. Haidari will be a fellow at the Institute for Human Sciences in Vienna starting this very fall. Her research there will focus on the influence of Chinese narratives in Central and Eastern Europe. I can only invite everybody to continue to follow her work I certainly will, and it promises to be worth it. Ms. Adari, thanks again. Thanks for the important work that you do. Never stop your work. It's important. May your work never remain silent. Your, your voice never remain silent. Thanks for accepting the Solidarity Journalist Award of the South, Southeast Europe Association. Uh, it's a true honor and pleasure to be allotted to do this laud laudation today. Thank you very much. Yeah, so, ladies and gentlemen, 
Now the handover will take place. First, I ask Dragan Bursac to come, and for security, I will take the mask. Um, Dragan, thank you. This is the. Das ist die Urkunde. Man sieht es jetzt. Hier steht Solidarity Award 2020-2021 for journalists from Southeast Europe. We proudly award Dragan Burjats for his outstanding work and his contribution to more democracy, rule of law, and press freedom in the region. Berlin, 21st of June 2021, signed by Manuel Sarrazin. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And you have to be careful. Here is the the second thing after <laughs> and Dragon to not go with empty hands and all okay. sense. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Sofort, we have noch Okay. Una. Okay. Yeah, I must so. say it's wonderful to accept the prize with the mask. It's very very yes. twenty twenty one. So, Una, this is your uh, documentation, Urkunde. Perfect. The Solid certificate, I get. <laughs> certificate. Solidarity Award 2021 for journalists from Southeast Europe. We proudly award Una Haidari for her outstanding work and her contribution to democracy, rule of law, and press freedom in the region. Berlin, 24th of June 2021, signed by Manu Sarazzi. Thank you. It's great much. to have you here. Thank you. And also for you to not get home only with a certificate. Thank you. German hospitality at its best. <laughs> and now we ask you both to give your answers. Perhaps we make ladies first, Dragan? Okay. No, 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 no. Dragan was going to go first. I mean, please, please. Okay. Seniority. Thank you. <laughs> first of all, thank you. My speech is how to say Bosnian or Croatian or Serb or I don't know. In my country, in my Montenegrin. In my country, <laughs> it's uh, uh, our language. It's my language, to moj jezik. Poštovani članovi parlamenta, članovi organizacije South Europa i kolege novinari. Honorable members of parliament, members of Southeast Europe Association and colleague journalists. Želim da vam se zahvalim na ovom izuzetnom priznanju koje me potpuno iznenadilo. Zapravo, kada sam prvi put saznao da sam dobitnik nagrade, bio sam toliko zbunjen da nisam mogao vjerovati. U početku sam mislio zaista da je bila greška. I want to thank you for this exceptional recognition, which completely surprised me. In fact, when I first learned I am the recipient of the award, I was so confused I couldn't believe it. At first, I thought it was a mistake. Ovo priznanje je za mene e, vrlo važno. Važno je i za mene, ali za moju Bosnu i Hercegovinu i vjerujem da daleko nadilazi lokalni značaj. This recognition is very important for me and my country, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and I believe it transcends local significance. A evo zašto je ova nagrada toliko važna i za mene i za moju novinarsku zajednicu, a i za moju zemlju. Here is why this award is so important to me, my journalistic community and my country. Prvo to je potvrda da se vrijedan rad, nezavisnost i objektivnost cijene u ovom velikom svijetu. Ova ceremonija dodjele nagrada toliko je važan čin za svakog od nas novinara da nam govori niste sami. Ni vi, ni vaše redakcije, ni vaše kolege, ni vaše porodice. I da, kad ste u svijetu prepoznati po svom radu, to vam daje snagu, ali, ličnu, ali lični napor i entuzijazam da nastavite dalje raditi. First, it is a confirmation that hard work, independence and objectivity are valued in the big world. This award ceremony is such an important act for each of us journalists that tells us you are not alone. Neither you, nor your newsrooms, nor your colleagues, nor your families. And yes, when you are recognized in the world of your work, it gives you hope, but also personal strength and enthusiasm to continue working. Dalje želim reći da nikada u životu nisam vidio nikoga od vas. 
Ova nagrada je potvrda za slobodu riječi, za objektivno napisanu riječ, za kvalitetno novinarstvo koje seže daleko izvan granica kao običnih ljudi, tako izvan utjecaja predstavnika svih ljudi i daje naučnu misao i snagu političkog života. Prepoznali ste moj rad i vrijednosti za koje se zalažem. Prepoznali ste naše zajedničke vrijednosti, slobode, štampe, humanosti, hrabrosti. Dijelim ih sa vam, sa mojim kolegama, širom Balkana. Father, I want to say I never have seen any of you in my life. This award is a confirmation that a free word, an objective written word, quality journalism reaches far beyond the borders, reaches ordinary people as well as important and influential representatives of scientific thought and political life. You have recognized my work and values I stand for. You have recognized our shared values and of free press humanity and courage. I share those with many of my colleagues all over the Balkan region. Zbog toga je ova nagrada toliko važna, da je nadu svim novinarima u regiji u jugoistočnoj Evropi da nastave svoj posao kako su započeli i da se pridržavaju novinarska i principa koji su daleko od političkog ili bilo kakvog drugog podmićivanja ili direktnog uticaja. That is why this award is so important. It gives hope to all other journalists in the region of Southeast Europe to continue their work as they started and to adhere to the holy journalistic principles which are far from political or any other bribery. Poštovani, želim reći na ličnom nivou da ona nagrada za mene ima veliko značenje. Predstavlja triumf nad svim nedaćama i prijetnjama koje sam pretrpio posljednjih godina. Vjerovao sam da prijetnje slobodi govora nikad neće doseći tako opasne razmjere. Vjerovao sam da, te, da su te akcije rezervisane za neke druge sisteme i totalitarne ideologije prošlosti. Međutim, jugoistočna Evropa, barem ovaj njen dio u kojem živim, nažalost je takva da sloboda govora, sloboda štampe i nezavisno novinarstvo još uvijek predstavljaju ili izuzetak ili ličnu hrabrost. Dear all, I want to say on a personal level this award has a great meaning to me. It represents a triumph against all the hardships and threats I have endured in recent years. I believe the threats on free press will never reach such dangerous levels. I believe those actions were reserved for some other systems and totalitarian ideologies from the past. However, Southeast Europe, at least this part of it where I live, is unfortunately such that freedom of speech, free press, and independent journalism still represents either an exception or personal courage. Želim vjerovati da će uz vašu pomoć Balkan postati mjesto gdje je slobodna štampa, sigurnost novinara, moralna obaveza cijelog društva, a ne pojedinačna hrabrost. Želim vjerovati da će moja zemlja postati dio europske zajednice slobodnih i demokratskih zemalja. I want to believe that with your help the Balkans will become a place where free press Journalist safety is a moral obligation of the whole society and not individual courage. I want to believe that my country will become part of the European community of free and democratic countries. Zahvalio bi se svojim redakcijama koje su mi u svakom trenutku pružale zaštitu i profesionalnu podršku i stajale uz mene. Bez njih moj posao ne bi bio moguć. To su redakcije Al Jazeera Balkans, Radio Sarajevja, Autonomije i Antene M. I would like to thank my newsrooms, which provided me with protection and professional support all, at all times and stood by me. Without them, my work would not be possible. These are the editorial offices of Al Jazeera Balkans, Radio Sarajevo, Autonomia, Antena M. Iznad svega, želio bi se zahvaliti svojoj porodici. Uvijek me podržavajući, često su pod većim, snažnim i pod muklim napadima od mene. Ja sam zauvijek u njihovom dugu i zauvijek sam njihov dužnik. Ovu nagradu na neki način posvećujem mojoj supruzi Vanji, ovo je za nju. I još jednom vam hvala. Above all, I would like to thank my family, all the supporting me. They are often under bigger, stronger and more insidious attacks than me. I'm forever in their debt. To my wife, Vanji Arav, this is for you. Thank you all once again. Thank you. Thank you, Dragan. Una. This mic is set up well.
Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, first, I'd like to thank the Zudost Europa Gesellschaft and everyone else who was involved in getting us here during extraordinary circumstances and um, making sure we could all discuss many topics in person um, that have, well, we haven't been able to do in the past year and a half since uh, this pandemic has been in force. Um, I, I have to say, I feel very uncomfortable with the fact that I have to hold a speech. Um, usually, us journalists are uh, hold a speech after I've been praised by so many people in the room and, and heard praise from my other colleague. Uh, us journalists are just really used to being on the other side of the perspective and um, watching uh, politicians give uh, praise of their own work. So while I was listening to these speeches, I was like, actually, how could I criticize this? And it, it, was, it was very uncomfortable. And, and, uh, had to, I had to like stifle my knee-jerk reaction to sort of be like, no, actually, it's not that that, that good. Um, but uh, either way, um, I really appreciate and I'm extremely honored uh, that that you uh, selected me and Dragan uh, to be the laureates for this prize. It's um, almost unbelievable that journalists like me and Dragan would be selected, not because, if I may be slightly immodest, uh, there aren't people out there who appreciate our work. But journalists like me and Dragan are, are those who very rarely um, get attention uh, by, let's say, notable and established institutions um, in, 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 in Europe and wider. Uh, we are usually ones who put the, highlight the uncomfortable uh, circumstances and facts and, and situations that exist in the region. And I feel that sometimes, um, for many people, it's been a lot easier not to write about these things and not to highlight these things. Uh, Dragan and I are, and I really do, even though we have won respective prizes, if I've understood that well, um, it's for our respective work, obviously, because we've not worked on anything together. Um, we're both people who have uh, literally seen nothing but, uh, or literally experienced nothing but difficulties because of our work uh, as journalists. And sometimes when you feel like institutions uh, uh, like the Zudo Europa Gesellschaft and uh, um, notable MPs and, uh, and people on committees who, who, who you know, are very much involved in, in our region but also other uh, issues around the world, select us uh, to be a recipients of this award, we feel like it's, it's quite, quite unbelievable. But it's all the more important because uh, that means that the politicians who, and their outlets and their supporters uh, who have not been kind to us, um, it means that they will perhaps think twice now um, before threatening us, threatening our families, uh, making our lives difficult, and um, making everything we do very, very uncomfortable for us. The, I want to take the time today um, not to talk about myself, but actually to talk about the uh, journalist situation in the region that I spend most of my life covering. Uh, journalists in the Balkans have, uh, in the Western Balkans, but also Southeast Europe, have since the fall of communism, but, all, but definitely as the, far as the Western Balkans are concerned, um, had a difficult time highlighting many things that still affect our region and local events and big political events, not just very localized ones that happened there because after the blood and the gore and the war, it's really difficult uh, to get, uh, at least in my experience, to get uh, editors interested in stories about the challenges that these societies still face and the injustices that are being made towards these populations. Um, this has been my lifelong struggle um, and, and something I'm, and I feel very strongly about. Um, and I've spent every single uh, resource that I have, and Dagan in many ways has too, to try to tell very human stories, and stories that can be very universal. I um, often tell my editors and my friends and, and, and you know colleagues when I talk about this, like every story we write from the Western Balkans or from Southeast Europe can be, if you do it right, a story that can be understood from Ohio to Novosibirsk. Like, if you do it well, it, it's not, it's too easy to not be interested in the Western Balkans just because it's so complicated. Like, what is these Serbs and these Bosniaks and these? I mean, Dagan knows this very well. But then I have the Albanian element, and I cover North Macedonia, and then and other things as well. And I feel that, and every time I, I really want to like give up and be like, I have 
a great education. I spent so much time abroad and all that. I could just really just give up and do another job. Um, another issue appears, another, another thing becomes relevant, and, and, I, and I'm re, 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 reinforcing my commitment. I feel a reinforced energy um, to continue doing um, what I've been doing. Uh, governments in Southeast Europe have found it much more easier to target individual journalists who report critically about what they do um, than to target outlets or to target or to actually react to the reporting um, that they have uh, that, that concerns them. And uh, as such, they have they and outlets close to them have not um, <laughs> found it, uh, have, you know, have, have been prone to targeting the journalists, their personal lives, their, their convictions. The amount of times my loyalties, ethnic, national, and otherwise, have been questioned in outlets throughout the region, as well as Dagens, is innumerous. If someone were to not know the Balkans that well, but found these articles, they would definitely not know what my background or my loyalties were. Um, which actually says that I'm doing my job well. Um, and if, if you get all the nationalists angry, you have to be something right, doing something right. Um, I have tried to show to Europe and the world how important it is to learn from these things. Um, since I began my career in the Balkans, I have moved on to reporting uh, from countries like, especially Poland and Ukraine, but Central and Eastern Europe. And I've seen how many issues are uh, extremely similar. Um, when someone uh, comes to me in Ukraine and says, we have this problem with the Orthodox Church and it's not accepted and everything, I was like, I've heard all of it before. Um, or this ethnic group and this and that. And this is precisely why Southeast Europe remains very relevant. Very relevant. Um, in fact, I even would say it's a vanguard. Like before, <laughs> you had all these populist right-wing movements that are now covered very, high, very intensely in Europe. Um, become so widespread and such, such a global fascination. You had them in the Balkans, sadly, in the 90s during the conflict. Um, so yeah, I, I would like to reiterate that our politicians don't listen to us enough. Uh, and when you select me and Dragon for, um, as wordies for a prize like this, you, you make sure, because they listen to you. So maybe they'll find it a little bit more difficult to target us and a little bit more, be less inclined to target us. Uh, or to delegitimize us, you know, when when their trolls and when their supporters Google uh, me or look up me and Dragan to find personal information in our lives to be to try to take us down online and stuff like that, they'll see that we also got this Bundestag award, and they'll be like, or this Zvirosa uh, Obagazeshov award, and they'll be like, maybe maybe these people, maybe we should stop. And if if you've managed to at least get 50 of them to stop doing it, our lives would be much easier. Um, and yeah, so in closing, I'd like to say uh, thank you to Daga for being such a wonderful reporter. Um, thank you to my colleagues. Uh, we are only as strong as the solidarity network that we, we provide to each other in the region. And um, sorry to my family and close um, uh, 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 and partner because, because of the work I do, uh, a lot of them uh, worry um, and if not, I mean, to even mention a recent incident, I had some difficulties traveling through Warsaw as I was yet coming to the ceremony uh, because I was coming from Kosovo. Uh, that visa liberalization thing really needs to be solved. Um, and I apologize for causing undue stress to my family members, my friends, and my colleagues because of the work that I do. They, they often uh, are quite concerned and quite worried about, about what, what we do, but also thank you for your support, and again, Thank you for the to to the Zudost Webagazashaft. Thank you to everyone else to support who supported us uh, in this award. And I hope um, it inspires other journalists to continue uh, to do critical work and perhaps even more critical work. I'm I as every journalist, I hope to be superseded and overcome. Let the new generation, everyone who comes after us, be even more brave and more courageous. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have to confess, I'm moved by these two answers, um, and it would be the perfect um, introduction for the next year's award, just to quote uh, what you said about this award. Um, but for you now, we have the unusual situation that 
we will face you now with questions from media representatives. <laughs> and afterwards, we will make a common photo. Um, but yeah, so I would take over, give over the floor for questions to our um, award winners.